because I'd rather work myself, make money and pay somebody and help me out there and then I'm good at making money for my household and uh, this is what she does um, and she does it much better than I do. I've been a nanny for nine years. What I like is that you get to care for the kids, you get to help educate them, but I never expected the conditions here to be what they are. We need respect. We need Bill of Rights and we need justice. After working for 20 years in my country as a bus conductor, I decided I couldn't find a job. That's why I ended up here in the United States looking for work. And what work did I find when I come? Working as a domestic. Domestic workers work long hours. You have to be at the house that you're working before your employer leaves in the morning. And you have to be there when your employer returns. You're still on the job. The domestic work is, it uh, includes nannies, babysitters, cooks, bottle washers, elderly caregivers. Anyone that works in someone else's home is considered a domestic worker. There are two sectors of people that are not covered under the labor law. That's domestic workers and the farm laborers. And that's why a lot of people get away with things because if you, you don't have anything to hold on to if you have to report incidents because you are considered less than a worker. I don't get paid much. I work 12, 16 hours a day, seven days a week no days off, and um, I pay $200, by the way. People that say to you, this child is the most precious thing that I have, and they're, they're giving you $350, $400 for working 50, 55 hours a week for cooking, cleaning, and doing house care. When they would spend a couple of hundred dollars a night going out at places that most nannies closest we can get to it is to pass the outside of the building. Because so many domestic workers are undocumented, they use immigration as the tool above their heads. Some of them are forced to sleep on the floor in the employer's homes. Some of them are not fed enough food or not fed at all. Some of them are forced to go to work when they're sick because if you don't go to work, you don't get paid. What do we want? What do we want? We want justice and we want it right now. We want justice. Domestic Workers United is an organization that was formed by domestic workers in New York City. Priorities that we take with us to Albany. We provide immigration assistance. We help them resolve cases with abusive employers. We also provide nanny training courses so that they're able to approach their employers on job situations, so that they know their rights as workers within the city. We support domestic workers who have been abused or exploited, and we shame the employers. We go to their homes, we go to their places of business, we protest, we march, to let their friends, their community know what it is that they're doing to their domestic workers. We do a lot of outreach on the job, I mean, in the parks, in bookstores, museums, just trying to reach out to as many domestic workers as possible. Excuse me, miss. Are you a babysitter? Uh, we have this organization which was formed by us, and we are trying to get this Bill of Rights passed. In Resolution 135, known as the Domestic Workers' Bill and Resolution, All 
items on today's general order calendar were adopted by a vote of 49 in the affirmative, zero in the negative. We were successful in getting the citywide bill passed. What we want to do this year is to take that a lot further. We actually want to change labour laws, which is what our current campaign is about, the Domestic Workers' Bill of Rights, which calls for a minimum wage with benefits, sick days, personal days with pay, severance, notice, medical, and that's basically the, the Bill of Rights. We have um, over 200,000 domestic workers in New York City. If we decide one day not to work, to call a strike, can you imagine what will happen in this country? Let's see. Wall Street will close down. Doctors, hospitals will not be able to function as they should. Lawyers will have to stay home. Teachers, schools will close. Just imagine. Our employers know there is no laws to represent us. A friend of mine, she told her boss about our bill. And the boss said, when I dismiss my workers, I do not give them severance pay. I only have to tell them one word, immigration. Now I want you to do this. Anytime your boss threaten you like that, look them in the eye and say back to them, immigration, the law is for you and the law is for me. This day is uh, monumental. We've fought really long and hard to get to this point, um, to get domestic workers recognized, to get the state to recognize that somebody's home is somebody else's workplace. You can't imagine the feeling I'm having right now. I'm so proud of this day. The day has come that we have been fighting for this bill for over six years. Hard fight, battle to Albany. When sometimes we go up there, we hear news that is not so good and we come down feeling so despondent. We come back and we regroup and we were at it again. And I'm so glad that we are at this point today. Personally, I'm feeling really great about this. We know okay. that there were lots of people who said it wasn't possible. There were people that saying we could not do it. And to see everything is reversed now and people are, is asking, how did you do it? And that in itself gave me joy and contentment. Bueno, hoy es un día extraordinariamente feliz porque por fin ya el gobernador firmó la ley para las trabajadoras de casa, que ya no somos invisibles. Okay, today I want to send a message to the domestic workers that this is your day. Let your light shine. Walk into your workplace holding your head up high because after 10 decades, you have your dignity and your respect. And we at Domestic Workers United will continue to fight for all the rights that you deserve. No.